Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday. It is time for a menu plan. No grocery haul. Um, I might need to pick up a couple things for Thanksgiving dinner, but I'll get those closer to because it's stuff that I want fresh. Um, this week's menu is really, really abbreviated because we plan on eating a lot of leftovers after Thursday. So, yeah, not a lot of uh, exciting stuff on there, but... I'm going to share it anyway. Um, I did go to Costco and did not record the haul. We got home so late and the kids are like, mom, can we just put this away? I'm like, yes. But I will tell you, I bought the things I always buy at Costco. I bought milk. I bought flour. I bought sugar. I bought vanilla. Can you see a theme here? Yes. Just stocking up for all that December baking. Um, what else did we buy? It was $190, so I bought more than that, but I bought a lot of flour, a lot of sugar, vanilla. Can't remember what else I picked up. It was all pretty, oh, butter, butter. It was pretty much all baking stuff, um, toilet paper. And that's probably about it multiples of each one, not just one. So that's where we, oh, we we actually went to Costco. It was not a planned Costco trip. So you know that the school where Andrew teaches, the student council has pop-up bakeries once a month that I bake for. They also wanted to do this month, little individual pumpkin pies. They wanted to buy the pumpkin pie and use the cookie cutters, the, the biscuit cutters and cut out the little individual ones. And I had told Elena, I said, look, Costco and BJ's have a 10 inch pumpkin pie for six bucks. You cannot beat that. I, and I don't know why we didn't just go to BJ's and get them. I don't know why I ran the Costco. I thought Costco's were 12 inch. That's why. That's why. So why we were there, I said, I will go get the pies for you. Don't you even worry about it. So why we were there, that's why I grabbed all the other stuff. So it was an unplanned Costco trip. But I'm kind of glad I went now. Got all that that I needed for the holidays. And anyway... I didn't record it. You know what flour, sugar, butter, vanilla, and toilet paper look like. <laughs> but anyway. I'm going to show you this week, week menu. And then we'll be done. Okay, Sunday morning. Just going for bagel and cream cheese. Um, Doug is scheduled for 9.30 and 11.30 mass. So I'd like him to eat a little something before he goes. So that's the quickest and easiest. We don't generally do lunch on Sundays. And then dinner, we're going to have halluski. Monday, oatmeal. Lunch, all week is going to be a picky plate. I'm not going to stress. I'm not going to think about it. Dinner on Monday, creamy chicken pasta with a salad. Tuesday, eggs, bacon, and sausage for breakfast. And then Bjorsen, is that how you say that? That cheese? Pork chops with mashed potatoes and vegetables. That's something else I bought at Costco, the Bjorsen cheese. It is so expensive in the grocery store, but Costco has a three pack for $10, but it's always, it seems like it's always on sale for seven. And that's a great deal, so I picked it up. Plus it'll be nice having that for some charcuterie boards over the holidays. Wednesday, pancakes for breakfast, um, because I actually have one of my little uh, daycare graduates on that day, and he always asks Joni to please make rainbow pancakes. So we're going to have rainbow pancakes. And then dinner is going, of course, picky plate. Dinner, I'm going to just throw some chili in the crock pot in the morning, because once the kids leave, I need to start Thanksgiving prep in a big way. So I'm going to throw chili in the crock pot in the morning. That way we can kind of just have dinner when we want to have dinner. If everybody wants to eat separately together, it doesn't matter. Because like I said, I will be busy. Thursday, of course, is Thanksgiving. So we'll just do some yogurt and fruit in the morning. And then our dinner. Our traditional dinner. Turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, carrot casserole, corn, sweet potatoes, rolls, and pie. Friday, breakfast sandwiches for breakfast. Friday morning, I believe the cleaning lady's coming early. And then at the minute she leaves, the decorating will start. So 
Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will just be leftovers, a nice, a good breakfast. I will take time out to make a good hearty breakfast that will sustain us for the day because we will be busy decorating. So that'll be good. And then we'll have leftovers for dinner. Everybody can kind of eat when they want, if they want to eat early, if they want to eat late, whenever. But I do plan on leftovers. And I'm hoping on Sunday, I still have enough turkey to make some turkey croquettes. But that'll be next week. So there it is. There is our Thanksgiving week menu. Told you, lots of leftovers going on there. So that is it. Yeah. Already have most of the December menu done. Um, we are really trying to do a lot of fun Christmas type things this month, in this year. Um, we're going to go to Longwood Gardens. We're going to go to uh, Red Bank Battlefield for their colonial Christmas. We are going to see the stage show Holiday Inn. Um, so there'll be a lot of gaps in the December menu and that's okay. I just, I, I just want to plan a lot and just really have a good, good Christmas season. So, um, of course I will bring you along for all of that and show you what we are doing and show you the beauty of the season. A couple things are overlapping. So I gotta, we gotta figure a few things out, but it'll all be good. So thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll catch you on my next video.